What is good, everyone? All right. We are here today with uh, oh, some out church. This is a little bit different. This is not no song. This is the Tune In Tour 2024, Episode 2, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, let's just jump right into this. Let's get into it. <laughs> March 15th, Cotton Eye Joe's, Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, I was not at this show, unfortunately. I wanted to go, but I had to be an adult. I had to go make some money, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. Can't be there long. I was in Knoxville, but I just wasn't at the show. Um, I live right down the road from Knoxville. But, uh, anyways, um, I've been to Cotton Eye Joe's before. Cotton Eye Joe's, I like Cotton Eye Joe's. So, let's keep it going. Well, my first experience coming down here to the Cotton Eye Joe, I want to say I was, I was either 15 or 16, and uh, I had a feller from down there in the city in Nashville kind of come down there to the farm and pluck me out of the middle of nowhere and bring me up to Music City and tell me, man, you need to do... <laughs> oh, JJ, he said I had, had a feller. Come down the farm and pluck me, you know, pluck, pluck me just like a chicken, man. <laughs> Let's keep this country music. First place he took me to see one of his artists was here at the Cotton Eye Joe. So it was a fella named Justin Moore, and I watched him perform that night and thought to myself, man, one day I'm gonna do it like this, you know? And so it's pretty cool to come back here full circle and to do it like this with this big of a tour and Man, the fans out here are just wild. So it, it's just really cool to see this place packed out for our show and, and have this whole thing come full circle. And for the guys that are doing this, man, some advice for you is, man, find these places that are hubs around your area that are just the, the hot nightclubs, the hot country dance bars, man. That is facts, man. Um, just up and starting, I mean, we all want to get it on that opening act for the big artists, whatnot, you know what I mean? But at the same time though, like JJ says here, you know, find that local hub, man. Find that local nightclub, uh, country club, whatever kind of music you're in. Find that local club or something relatively local. Um, so from where JJ's at to Knoxville, it's about two hours. So it's not local, local, but it's it's local, you know? And start you a start you a tour, start you a show schedule from a place like this, and kind of branch out, man. Make your name in areas regionally, and then you can you can step it up a notch, man. Everything in stages. Don't think that you can't do it simply because somebody tells you you can't. You can do this, man. All everybody a part of this. That is facts. That's more facts too. You know, don't let anybody tell you you can't. Um, Coming from myself, you know, no one has told me I can't do this here. You know, I myself personally never seen myself doing this, you know, talking to you guys through a camera, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but it was my but good friend, Orgs, man, my good friend. He's like a brother, man. He's the one that pushed and pushed me to get, and he didn't push pushing me, but, you know, he's like, come on, man. You, you got it in you, you know. Give me that little nudge, and now look at here. Now look at started out, you know. I was just at that time, I was just posting. There were actually some of the first videos, the first couple videos I want to say were videos from the Cotton Eye Joe. Um, I was there in January of 2020 for the kickoff of his tour. It was the very first two shows of the year of that tour. I don't think it went any further than that due to COVID. But, uh, yeah, I was at both those shows back-to-back -back nights. Awesome place. This thing is independent, and we've had to grind it out and play places like this, and that's why it's so special to, to, to be able to come from an arena, the last place we played, to, to a place like this. It reminds you of where you where you come from. It keeps you grounded. And, uh, yeah, man, I just feel blessed to be a part of this whole thing and and uh, looking forward to the night. So, all right, a little bit more on that. Uh... Don't let anybody tell you can't. I tell myself all the time, you can't do this. You, you're not good at this. 
I myself personally don't think I'm any good at this, but who am I to judge? But you know, I, I judge myself and I don't let anybody else's judgments tell me differently, you know? Um, so, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting at with I just, I'm trying to explain this. I'm not good with words as I've explained before. So, but yes, he's speaking all facts there. Don't let anybody tell you. Start off lo locally and grow. Expand out then. Before you know it, you'll be worldwide. Cock my Joes, we surrounded by, there'll be people from one end to the other, people behind us, left, right, all the merch is bunched up. These, these. <laughs> the concert, uh, the concert, the stage is kind of not centered in Cat Night Joe's, but it's, yeah, you, the crowd literally wraps around the stage. So you got your general mission in the back, the left and right, and up front is the VIP. It's where the dance floor is at. Like uh, JJ was saying, it's got the square dancing floor. That's the VIP, wherever that is. Then around the edges of the VIP of the square dance floor is more general mission. And I'm not sure how many people it fits. I have, you know, a good thousand, two thousand people. And you are packed in there. Don't get me wrong. The Cotton Eye Joe's is fun. Great experience. I got lucky and I got to experience it right up front, front stage. Right there where I, I didn't have to reach up just little tap like that I could touch the artist I could of church I could touch them but I I damn it though obviously so all right let's keep it going yeah so much more personal because we're gonna be all crammed up in here together but probably not a whole bunch of time spent in the green room I work the table anyway but I love these now nah, don't get me wrong baby like he says um a little bit more personal I feel so too. I feel, be honest. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but from experiencing the first uh, concert in an arena, I've I've experienced two that were kind of different. The arena and the first, uh, not first, my, my, yeah, the uh, Taylorville. So in Taylorville, here's the stage. Here's the stage. Then here, then here's the crowd. You had a good. 50 feet in between, maybe not 50, could have been like 30 feet. It's from stage to uh, audience. Um, arena, you know, you got good 10, 15 feet in between, about a good 10 foot. And uh, the kind of guy at church is, man, he likes to interact with that crowd. He likes to, you know, give you high fives, shake your hands, give you dabs. He likes to grab your phone, take it up there with him. He's always, always interacting with the crowd on that as aspect. So to see him perform in arena, to uh, being at the performances here and like uh, Creeker Fest, those interactions on those two, I feel like were not the same. You know, you can tell that he wanted to do more with the crowd. He wanted to interact more, but he just couldn't. Cause how far away it was. I mean, he still did it. The Nashville show at the municipal, he jumped off of the stage onto the speakers and came down and was interacting. But obviously he has to get back up on stage. Let's keep it rolling. Getting to do the municipal last weekend was a feeling, I'm getting chill bumps, was a feeling that I'll never forget. But there's something cool, man, about these little small clubs, especially. <laughs> like uh, Brownick says, you never, forget that i still need to upload my concert videos seeing that pit area all packed seeing the state the stadium seats you know there was missing seats here and there but just seeing that many people there for somebody that's solely independent i mean he is a big name in the independent world Big name in the music world, just in period. Um, but seeing it from Creeker Fest in 2018, my very first concert, to see, seeing it six years later at the Municipal, 
in Nashville in 2024. It's just wild. It's crazy to see the amounts of people from then to now. Because back then, it was like 300 people at Creeker Fest, I want to say, compared to thousands. <laughs> Let's go. For the bank. I mean, we right there, baby. I might spit on you, sweat, slang on you, baby. So we <laughs> he says, so spit my slang on you. I mean, you get to sing it. And that being that close and that sweat just, just slanging from jumping around, it's going to happen. It happens. It is a lot more personal. It's a lot more personal. I like I like that he's bringing that up. And personal, and it's a home bar, dive bar feeling. Maybe I love this area. If I could pick it, of course that would sound crazy because you're talking about a couple of thousand people versus ten. But for the fan and me, I love this scenario. It doesn't get much cooler. Too, man. Man. It it does suck, you know, being jam packed in there. Because if you try to go get a drink. Or try to go to the bathroom, or step outside to to smoke if you're a smoker. You ain't getting your spot back. It's a hard, it's hard to get your spot back. But yes, I agree. This the dive bar scene is kind of more, it's more personal and compared to the uh, uh, arena. Man, real shit. This to me, you know, being a Tennessee boy. This is like the closest thing to Roadhouse that you can get to in, around here. Like JJ knows, like this, and this is like the most popular thing that's even around Knoxville that's like country club wise. It still has like a square dancing floor in the middle, you know? And I think it's cool that the owners, by the way, of Cotton Eye Joe's, that have had- They still got the wagon wheels up there. On the one side, they have a pool table on the ceiling. They may, st it looks like they might have it up there still. I think they do it down over the years have really kept it exactly the same like right. like so uh, we appreciate that as artists and i know the fans do because when you walk in a building like cotton eye joe's with no music on it brings you a bunch of memories then when the music comes on it brings you even more so to me this is like chilling in my neighbor's house it's too drunk and he just let me sing on his fucking porch loud as fuck you know <laughs> <laughs> child you got not joe's yeah, shout out to Cotton Eye Joe's. Another thing of Cotton Eye Joe's, sorry, I, I might be rambling. I don't know. No smoking at all. No vapes, no weed smoke. If they find you smoking, automatically kicked out. They do the national anthem. I was told they didn't do it at this one, but they had announced it. If you don't take your hat off, or if you're not standing up during the national anthem, they kick you out. So... Shout out, Cotton Eye Joe's. Let's go. Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember what I told y'all about that little bitty flame we needed, baby, to get this big fire started, baby? We finna stoke that bitch tonight, baby. This is up close and personal. Yeah. You not up in the bleacher in the nosebleeds, baby. We right next to each other shaking that sweat, baby. Yo, this is a front row Joe, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gonna- At Cotton Eye Joe. At Cotton Eye Joe. Hey, what you gonna do tonight out there, man? What you baby, gonna do? I'm gonna try my best, best to melt the faces off. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking Mario, bro. You know how he skipped the stones and, but they, they falling in the lava. <laughs> oh, shout out to TV. They, uh, I don't know about Brian next, but my buddy Orange, he does uh, Mario Kart and T2 and Kalani. They like to join and play, play uh, uh, Mario Kart. I don't have a Switch, but I joined the chats though. I joined in the Discord chat with them. But yeah, that's awesome. Ron X being the gentleman he is. seen Braun X yet make sure to get yourself to or if you even haven't seen up church or t2 get yourself to one of these uh tune in to our shows man it, try to get try to make it make it to one they all night long 
I haven't seen so I seen up church obviously like I said. So this was my first time seeing him brought next to them. Not at kind of Joe's at the municipal. The first time seeing him, dude, he puts on a show. He puts on a show. T2, he didn't have his own set, but he was there. They brought, uh, He was up there for uh, Bronx, and Church brought him up for a few songs because they got songs together. And, man, you want to talk about a hype man. Dude, T2, he hype man and just a performer, period. He, he's amazing. He's amazing. They're all amazing, dude. And JJ, he puts on a, on a wild show himself. So, uh, having these guys as openers in a sense, openers, it, that that was those were the best that couldn't have asked for better. Couldn't have asked for better. Amble, jamble, going live from the countryside. Ain't no ba- see, as you see, you're up front and close and personal, up front and personal. You're right there. As soon as he steps on that speaker, you're able to touch him. That's it's just wild. Let's go. <laughs> I love this. I love this show. Dude, shout out to all these guys on tour, man. Man, I, like I said just a little bit ago, you could not have asked for a better, better crew. Um, I got a, lo- a lot of love and respect for all of them. Especially like T2, Bronx, Clowney, Church. JJ, I don't know very well. I uh, have not had much interaction with him. But what I've watched on Instagram, dude, he's a badass. He's a badass. Bunch of, I got nothing but mad respect for him, too. But uh, these guys here, dude, I love it. This is, this is a wild tour. I want to get to more shows. I'm trying to get to the South Carolina show, but it just depends if work will let me or not. I don't know. Years ago, let us now we in Nashville raising up a whole bunch of heaven. Rifle painted with bad just cause it's one ain't for no. So now this is his new band. I don't know their names. I know one of them is Ty. I'm pretty sure it's the one with the guitar. This is Kalani. I, I, if you don't know, now you know. These other two, I do not know their names. JJ. See what I mean? Church loves interacting with the fans, dude. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it's about right here. Punchlines, white Mike Tyson when I set it up to hook right. You ain't hearing what I'm saying, take an earlobe bite. Yeah, I'm living out something that is the first of its kind. All these duplicated copies encrypted with shitty rhymes. Big truck, big wheels, ass, titty, chrome shine. If you think you fucking with me, you a chromosome shine. Level so, so up, I broke the dome. So I didn't know how I was going to feel about uh, the whole new band. A whole new band on church. Um, I liked them. They were good. I, you know, I was just so used to Cliffy and Kid on drums and the first guitarist, you know. Um, I can't remember his name. <laughs> he did Church Bogus too, but anyways, that's besides the point. But yeah, I didn't know how I was going to feel about the band, but they put it on, this. you know, they put on a good show. They did good. They did great. Um, at the Municipal, there was some issues with the sound. Um, that was being transmitted through their, 
earpieces. I don't know, so they messed up a little bit, but that was not on them. That was not their fault. Had something to do with something else. I'm not sure what, but yes, they this this band this band is decent. I like them. In the sky, Carter five track five, pause at second thirty nine. Hey, talking about a girl, it's the music that he writes. Staying married to the game, been a lover every night. Go another artist booth, do it smoother than the rest. Like somebody put overalls on key sweat. Wish a motherfucker would, but they won't dare. If they did, and they would, bitch, I'm cocaine bear. Too cold, my expression staying polar. Most of my family ain't shit on me. Always showing love, always showing love. This is awesome. They went rogue and got four mil in my farm equipment all got stolen Now they trying to sue me cause I didn't care enough to <laughs> overdose enough. for them. I'm the overdose sir, I'm, I'm an overload server I'm somebody everybody down south done heard of this Dixieland murder This sicker than the If y'all didn't know, Church actually played that harmonica on uh, Prove It And when he performs live, he plays it, he plays it live too Come up, this is never stop coming, kill them all, still going I'ma be like Wayne, never seeing no opponent Till I'm dead, motherfucker, I'ma live in my moment On the wave so long, I became a sea serpent I'ma preach a nice honky till I'm church, mom This is exactly what I'm talking about right here Interacting with the fans Got somebody's phone in hand Sitting there so they all could pat him on the back He's getting a... This is this is what it's about right here. Oh, fuck up. You're now live from a one lane. Breaking news to holla. Got dumb game. Flow cold. Spring to a creek bank. Always on a limb. Every See, line make a jump so shake. Nice. You're now oh. live from a one lane. Truck too damn high and I'm too bay. Only stream I see got cows and snakes. Same downtown as it is on a creek bank. You're now Shout out to Alus and what is, uh, frick, I can't remember T's guy's name. I can't remember. Shout out to him too. Oh man, let's go. What? Wrong button. Oh, here we go. Tour date. Sorry. Um, so we've already done Nashville, Knoxville, Corbin. Next weekend, we got the Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio run. Let's go. But I'm trying to get to, I would love to go to one of the Florida shows. That'd be dope. Get down there, see my brother, see Captain Kurt again. But South Carolina, I want to try to get to that. But I am for sure going to the Taylorville show right there. Me, Ords, um, I know some other people are going to be there. Kansas Rebels trying to make going to make it there. But yeah, we, I'll definitely be at the Taylorville trying to get to that south carolina date but i don't know just keep it rolling you're now live from a one lane for me the never was a competition it's complicated coming from the bob wife there you go that's that's the tune the tune in tour Episode two. This is here 50 cent for the first time had no riches i guess i never got tired careers dime Happy journey. <laughs> but let's go. All right. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night. Catch you on the next one. Peace.